let us see the concept of Maunder's disease. Maunder's disease. If we see Maunder's disease, Maunder's disease. What do we mean by Maunder's disease? Yes, Maunder's disease is equal to superficial thrombophlebitis of the inframemory vessels. Simple, simple. Do you know this is also known as string phlebitis? This is also known as string phlebitis. String phlebitis. So Maunder's disease. Maunder's disease is also known as a string phlebitis. Let us try to understand the basic concept of Maunder's disease. Basic concept of Maunder's disease. Let us see this Maunder's disease. Basic concept of Maunder's disease. The first and the most important thing is what it is. It is superficial. It is superficial thrombophlebitis. It is superficial thrombophlebitis of inframemory vessels. Of inframemory vessels. Inframemory vessels. So superficial thrombophlebitis of inframemory vessels this is what is and because of this the patient has a classical presentation and the presentation is a cord like palpable vessels so cord like cord like palpable vessels cord like palpable vessels cord like palpable vessels let us see how this presents to us so let us see this is what is cord like palpable vessels so this is what is cord like palpable vessels yes or no so this is what is so they and because of this they appears to be like string and we tell that this is a string phlebitis so cord like palpable vessel they are also there is tenderness tenderness where do you have tenderness in the infra memory region in the infra memory region infra memory region so let us see what are the classical things we know? So, what is the probable cause of this? What is the probable cause? So, association. Association. Most common cause is trauma. Most common cause for them is trauma. Trauma is the most common cause. The second most important is, the second most important is surgery. Post-surgery it can be seen. And then the others are infection. Infection. Recently, it has been proven that protein C, protein C and protein S deficiency, deficiency that is also contributing to this. Next, very important point is what is the most common vessel involved? What is the most common vessel involved in this? So, let us see what is the most common vessel. The most common vessel is the most common vessel or vein is lateral thoracic vein lateral thoracic vein lateral thoracic vein this is what is lateral thoracic vein greater than superficial not superior superficial epigastric vein superficial epigastric superficial epigastric vein so these two structures are very important let us talk about the management. What is the treatment for thrombophlebitis? Do you go for surgery always? No, not at all. So the first thing that you do is, yes, you will counsel the patient not to worry, not to worry. And the first line is equal to treatment of choice is equal to conservative. The first line is equal to treatment of choice is equal to conservative. And what is the conservative management that we give? Yes, NSAIDs. NSAIDs plus topical topical heparin containing all topical heparin ointments. Yes, topical heparin ointments. Like you have thromboflop, thromboflop gel. Yes or no? So along with this, you advise this to the patient. Remember, if this fails, if this fails, then you have to go for surgery and what is the classic surgery that we have the classic surgery that we have is excision of the thrombus veins so excision excision of thrombus vein excision of thrombus vein 
thrombosed vein. Now, subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder.